Hello everyone, it is Erin Flutter here and today I am doing the 10 types of travel spreads video. So this is going to give you some inspiration if you are on the go, especially because it is summertime and I am sure a lot of you want to do some summer vacations. So um, I used a mix of washi tapes here. This is from Simply Gilded. This one is from Archer and Olive and then this one is from Wonton and a Million, their Harry Potter collection. And I used Tombow 243 and I used the pink um, metallic acrylograph for this spread as well as some micron pens. So the first one we have up is Dream Vacation. So this is just not maybe if you're traveling, but if you are planning to travel, um, I just have some doodles here. And then I have places where you can put in the name of the location, say this was Spain and then, um, or Madrid, and like you wanna put something from that city um, in this little spot. So I do have a few little Polaroids. I have enough for seven. And then I have some traveling icons all over the place. This can help you mind map when it comes to when you're planning a vacation, how much funding you have, and then picking from some of your dream vacations. The next one is what is in my bag clothing edition. So I just put in little doodles of each of the um, clothing items. So for example, athletic shorts, there are two of them in the bag. Leggings, there are three. Daytime shirts, so just like regular t-shirts, there are five. Undergarments, so bras, panties, there are eight. Swimsuits, there's one. Uh, if you're doing a night out, maybe you need two blouses and a pair of jeans, for example, um, and then some nighttime shirts. So this could also be done in a spreadsheet form if you want to get more specific on what you have and where and what pairs together you could always get more specific from here but just having a running total of what you have in your bag can be really helpful um, for planning what you're doing and when like i said um, if you're doing a night out maybe you need to bring some night out clothes so you, maybe you want a blouse instead of um legging or a t-shirt or um, maybe instead of leggings you need some jeans or even some slacks or dresses etc so that is number two number three we have a travel log so i did this in little uh, sections where i have a departure and um, arrival so departing from lax arriving in honolulu at 12 p.m so this would account for um the time changes and everything like that and saying that um august 8th is a travel day and then from there just having um a box for each day and what is happening on that day so for example on the 10th maybe you're going to oahu um and you have some planned excursions or something like that there um moving on to the 11th 12th 13th and then ultimately when you leave Honolulu for LAX on the 14th. So those are some ideas when it comes to like kind of just logging what you are doing on a specific day. The next one is a packing list. Um, of course we would have to have it. So I do have some categories here and I made them a little fun. So I have a little toiletry bag for um, things that need to go in your toiletry bag, uh, essential items that aren't clothing or accessories or anything like that. Um, accessories like um, cables and technology and, and things like that, more items. So I don't know if you have kids and you want to pack some of their toys or something like that, maybe you have a section for more items there. And then of course, um, clothing items as well. So putting in what you need to pack so that you can cross it off as you go. Moving on to number five, I have a cruising um, list. So what your cruise line is, what the dates you're cruising and what ports you will be going to. And then um, mixing things up by what you, you can do at each port and how long you're gonna be there. So I have this little time, so you could put like five hours at this port, you could put like one day at this port. Um, you know, you could just be like quick stop at port number three and if there are things to do at each of the ports and how much time <laughs> you have to do those things is really important because you don't want to miss getting back on the cruise ship 
Number six is for a road trip. So I have different sections of playlists. Um, for example, if you're doing a very long day, um, uh, you know, if my partner and I decide to go uh, south, we might start traveling at night because getting through any of the Northeast um, during the day is terrible. So we might start at night. So maybe we need songs to stay awake. <laughs> so there's a playlist for that or songs for jamming out. You could also do like a lo-fi mix if, um, you know, one person's sleeping and the other person isn't, you know, you could always mix it up and do different types of playlists, but just songs that can be included in that playlist. And then you can kind of mix and match from there. Moving on, I have a making memory spread. So this is just little like Polaroid type of snapshots, or you could um, just include multiple photos in each of these. Um, this could go by day one, day two, day three, etc. Or you could do by location. If like you're road tripping and you're going to multiple locations, you can do um, based on each location. So that's why I didn't fill in any pictures or anything like that. Um, Cause I just want to give you a couple ideas of what you could do. The other thing you could do is a places to visit. So say you're going to Utah and you know, okay, so I have some free time. Um, what are some things that I would like to do? And there are a few like national parks, national monuments, uh, Park City is for skiing, for example. So you could do little doodles. Um, so that way I left room um, to mark in when you may um, be able to go to that place as well. Moving on to number nine is a vacation savings tracker. So for example, uh, this is going on vacation to Seattle because that is the Space Needle. Um, and then you could either uh, start coloring in the Space Needle, but that's white and black. So I decided not to do that. So I put a little bar over here and you could put how much money needs to get set up, um, saved up in each of those segments and then fill it in as you go. And number 10, I. <laughs> It's funny, I actually forgot to fill this in. And number 10 is a checkoff list. So I actually put in um, 50 lines here. Well, 25 on this side, 25 on this side. So this is if you want to do something like go to all 50 states. So I could fill in all of the states and list them here. And then obviously I can check them off as I go. Um, and this could be in a more of a long-term collection journal. Um, or if you are doing a road trip where you are all going to all 50 states, maybe you want to check that off. You could also include the date that you were there or the month and year. If you're just doing like a giant collection, um, you could also include that on this list as well. And then I had some space here at the bottom, but I did some doodles. You could also include photos um, from the trips that you took all over the place and um if you did maybe make it a two-page spread and just do little squares of um you in each of those locations so that is it for this 10 types video those are 10 types of um, travel related spreads that you can include uh, especially if you are traveling this summer so i hope you like this video thank you so much and i will see you next time bye everyone